This is the second video in our series looking at how we set up and configure a Google Nest Wi-Fi mesh network. While Google Nest Wi-Fi has been designed to replace our existing wireless router, because Google Wi-Fi does not have a built-in modem, more than likely we will need to use certain elements of our existing wireless network in order to connect Google Nest Wi-Fi to the internet. Depending on your internet service provider, you will find that you've either been provided with a modem and a wireless router, or an all-in-one box that will have combined both a modem with a wireless router. So if, like us, your internet service provider has provided you with both a modem and a wireless router, you simply need to replace your existing wireless router with your new Google Nest Wi-Fi router. However, if your ISP has issued you with a single unit, or as they're sometimes referred to, a broadband hub, you will need to work out how to use only the modem part and disable the Wi-Fi router part of that hardware. The reason for this reconfiguration is that we want to avoid something called double NAT, which is where our Google Nest Wi-Fi router sits behind another wireless router. While this setup will work, in as much as we will be able to access the internet through the new wireless network that our Google Nest Wi-Fi router has created, if any devices connected to our Google Nest Wi-Fi router need to use something called port forwarding, because of double NAT, port forwarding may not work. NAT, or Network Address Translation, is a way that multiple devices are able to share a single broadband connection. In very simplistic terms, because the IP addresses for something called IP version 4 are slowly running out, it was found that by using NAT, we're able to change a broadband's public IP address to a series of private IP addresses, thus allowing multiple devices on a private network to share a single broadband connection. However, while NAT will save on the number of public IP addresses that a home network will need to use, it also has a side benefit in that NAT will also act as a basic firewall to protect the devices behind our router. So if we were to just connect our Google Nest Wi-Fi router to the broadband hub that was provided by our ISP, as both devices use NAT, we would be creating double NAT. This means that in order to avoid double NAT, you will need to find out from your internet service provider if your broadband hub can be configured to work just as a modem. When talking to your ISP, try asking about something called either bridge mode or modem mode. Either way, once your broadband hub has been placed in this mode, it should disable the Wi-Fi and routing functions of your broadband hub. Then with your broadband hub behaving only as a modem, when you connect your Google Nest Wi-Fi router, it will be the only device on your home network that will be acting as a firewall and wireless router. In order to connect Google Nest Wi-Fi to the internet, we first need to locate the wide area network port on the bottom of the router. As you can see, we have two network ports. The port on the right is the local area network port, while the port on the left is our wide area network port. The wide area network port can also be identified by this globe icon. So let's take one end of our network cable and connect it to the WAN port. We now need to connect the other end of the network cable to the local area network port on our modem. If we take a look at the back of our modem, we have two ports. The first port is a local area network port, while the second is an RJ11 port designed for a ADSL or VDSL cable. Let's connect the modem to our Google Nest Wi-Fi router via the LAN port on the router. Next, we need to reconnect the ADSL or VDSL cable to our modem.
Finally, we need to connect the power first to our modem and then to our Google Wi-Fi router. Please note that it will take a couple of minutes for both the Google Nest Wi-Fi router and our modem to power up. So in the next video in this series, we're going to take a look at how we set up the Google Nest Wi-Fi router so that it will communicate with our modem and give us an internet connection that we can use to create a wireless network.